Well, hello, and welcome to the very first weekly entry of my personal vlog. My name is Brighton, and I am a creator, and I've kind of come into that role and given myself that, uh, that title over the last probably like month or so. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick intro of who I am and why I'm doing what I'm doing, and what I'm gonna do every week is actually line this video weekly entry up with a blog, a written written word blog as well on, on my website. So you can check that out as well. A little bit about me, I am born and bred Calgarian, uh, born and raised here in Calgary, and I love it here. It's the absolute best city in the world, I think. And kind of growing up, I was surrounded by music. My parents actually met studying musical theater uh, at university, so music was always around the house and I always loved singing along to the songs that my mom played in the car. And as I grew up, the more I loved music and the more I wanted to be a part of it and the more I wanted to create it and stuff like that. But, you know, my main focus for a lot of my life was hockey, actually. So I was a goalie and I played two years of junior A in uh, BC, which was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed my time um, playing hockey. And I learned a lot, met a lot of amazing people. Um, whether it be teammates or, or coaches or staff members or anything like the hockey community is absolutely phenomenal and I wouldn't trade that experience for the world but I got to a point where I just had to realize and I think it's just I had to admit to myself that, that hockey wasn't the end-all be-all for me I really wanted to go to business school and I wanted to give music a shot I never actually pursued music at all really I took piano lessons and performed here and there but I never really considered it to be a career path for me. Um, and once I kind of left hockey, the first thing that I did was purchase a delegate pass to the Canadian Country Music Awards. And they have all of these educational sessions, which is absolutely amazing. And I learned a lot in my first two years of going to the CCMAs, um, which they were in Edmonton, which was really easy for me. I could make a trip up to Edmonton three hours, spend the weekend there, come back, meet a lot of people and network and and that was one of the biggest steps that I took in order to pursue that. The other thing that I love doing and and I don't think I really noticed this or, or realized this until maybe a month or two ago was that I've loved photography and videography and creating. I've always loved it and had a passion for it but again I never thought of that as a career path or something I could make a living doing um, until I started again meeting people in the marketing world who were doing that and were doing it really really well and in high school I was in this class called ComTech so we would develop film in the dark room we did uh, little claymation animation videos uh, we did a little bit of videography that's where I was first introduced to Photoshop and uh, we did like t-shirt printing and all this kind of stuff and I just loved creating things and telling a story and I don't think I really realized that until I started working with, uh, started working on the Leaving Thomas social media which kind of goes hand in hand is it's, it's the music career and the creating of the music and the performance and, and all of that which I absolutely love doing. But alongside that, when we were doing the LT show and some of the videos and, and stuff that we were doing, I didn't realize that I was you know, developing skills as a videographer and kind of photographer as well. So as I started doing that more and editing those videos and getting better with the editing software and better with the composition of, of the videos that I was creating, it kind of a light switch went off. And I don't know what it was or when it happened, but so I just decided to start doing more video and more photos and, and creating more because it's something that I absolutely love to do. And it's funny, like it, it took me a little while to figure that out. I went, I ran myself through this really simple exercise. I don't know where I heard it from or if I, you know, just decided that it was something I had to do. But I took my legal pad, this guy right here. I split it down the middle and I wrote things I love on one side, things I'm good at on the other side. And what I ended up finding out while doing this was I was writing down things that I love as music and photography and videography and editing and 
um, really self-taught when it comes to like graphic design and stuff like that. So I, I like I enjoy creating sometimes logos or um, t-shirt designs for Leaving Thomas. There's a lot of things that I love doing and I love creating. So that was something that I would put on one side and the other side I would put down things that I'm good at which sometimes I feel like is a little bit hard. At least for me, I feel like I'm, I try and be as modest as possible when it's hard to go, you know, I'm really good at this and this is something I'm great at. But it was, I think it was a big step for me to go, okay, well, I'm good at telling a story because I've done it through video with Leaving Thomas vlogs. I've done it through um, songs. I've done it through performances. I love doing that, but I think I'm really good at it as well. And then over the last little while, I've developed the skills to tell stories through different mediums um, specifically video and I think it just took a little while for me to admit that to myself that that's something that I'm good at and I really love to do. Another thing is branding which I went to school for like I went to school for marketing and I got my degree in marketing and entrepreneurship and I think that for me I was focusing more as you know I was trying to build this this company in my head this 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 it's called Vint Marketing and like at the end of the day it's me. Like it's it's just me and depending on the project, if I don't have the skills myself to do it, I will hire a team in order to implement that project. And what's been interesting is over the last little while, I was finding it a lot harder to find clients that I could serve because I think I was devaluing my skills and what I loved doing and what I was good at and just kind of brushed it off to somebody else um, who was talented and amazing as well but I, I kind of undermined myself and what I decided to do was not stop focusing on Vint but transition into creating my personal brand and establishing that and making that the focus because at the end of the day I think my value can be spread into Vint, it can be spread into client work, um, my skills behind the camera and behind the editing screen, like there are things that I'm really good at and I can go and implement um, and I can prove myself and my skills um, while also working with other people and collaborating with other people. It's, it's really a, it's been a very eye-opening experience and I'm very, very excited about this next chapter because I feel like I have had maybe two of these kind of like aha moments in my life. Um, one being leaving hockey and going to business school and focusing on music a lot more. And the second one being, you know, a month ago when I went, something's not working. I've been at it for a couple of years now. Something just isn't clicking the way I want it to. And honestly running through that exercise of, of having things I love to do, things I'm good at on the other side and seeing like, what is the commonality here and how can I better serve my life and better serve the people that I work for or work with um, by focusing on those on those commonalities of those two two lists so anyways it's a bit of a rant but I wanted to share that with you and kind of introduce myself to you guys because I'm gonna be doing this every single week so please click the subscribe button which will be over here I think yeah and uh, thanks for hanging out I will see you next week when uh, I'm back here, again, doing the same thing, talking and hanging out.